welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be doing a mid length check mid as in like in between trim length check last time i did a video it was me straightening my hair trimming it and then i did a length check but for some reason my video cut off at like 12 minutes it was supposed to be 18 minutes long so i lost five minutes of footage very irritating and I had already deleted it from my computer before when I tried to go like try to re-upload it I had already deleted the whole footage up from my computer so the lesson learned definitely make sure your entire video is there before you go deleting your footage so uh, just to recap real quick my hair was 12 inches April 21st it was bra strap length we're back to bra strap length again um, as you guys know I've been to bra strap length a kajillion times it's not a new length for me it's one of my lengths that I would consider my normal length as in like I've always had hair that was at least bra strap length or longer usually between bra strap length and mid-back length majority of my life so I'm this isn't like a new length a new like but it's a length I'm comfortable with we're just trying to right now my goal is to get past the for this mid-range because my goal is to get past this like comfortable range and get into lengths I've never been to before. Anything longer than 14 inches or mid-back length are lengths I've never been to before. So that is the goal. Um, this year's goal for me is to get to 15 inches by December. So it'll literally be between mid-back length and waist length by December. That's my goal. Right now I'm going to be doing a length check. I have blown my hair out with my rub air. I'm not going to be straightening my hair, just blow it out. Um, or just reverse air dried it um, just to get it stretched so I can show you my length check. I have my handy dandy roller and I'm gonna take my hair down and just show you guys how my hair looks as is. After this blowout, the rub air doesn't really get that hot so it really doesn't, it gets warm more so. It feels really healthy and good. Um, it feels very full. Um, so this is the blowout look today. Again, this is like a mid blank check. It's not supposed to be like super, super thorough as far as like showing you how it looks. I just wanted to show you my blowout. My hair is very healthy. The ends are still pretty thick. Um, and I looked at through my ends, I don't see any breakage or anything. Even at my crown, my crown still looks pretty good considering my crown's my crown. And yeah, so let's get into this mic check. Or I'll see what my length is right now. Always, again, repeat, put the, I always take my ruler and put it right where the cranium of my head, the dent. There's a name for it. There's a medical word for it too, but I can't think of it right now. But there's a, my occipital bone <laughs> is right here and that bump, that dent underneath it is where you're gonna put your ruler. I do this because this ensures that my hair is on the same sp spot every single time. So, and then you put your head up straight. Once you find that mid nook space, Put your head up straight. I'm gonna grab the hair, nape of my hair, make sure it's even, and then I'm going to hold. My hair is right here. So it is at 12 and a half. My hair is 12 and a half inches. I will talk to you a little bit about link checks because I have some opinions. So I see people when they do their link check <laughs> doing this. I'm gonna just you know demonstrate what I commonly. I'm gonna just demonstrate what I commonly see. I commonly see people do this to measure their hair. To me, that's incorrect because one, you're never. How do you know? every time exactly on the top of your head or you're putting this like for one that's one like here 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 there's your head is around 
how do you know where you're putting? I mean, if you put it a little bit too much to the right or a little bit too much to the left, or let's say your part isn't as far back as the last time, or let's say like, also too, the longest, most people, every part of your head has a different length, okay? So if you measure from here, the hair up here, from here, measuring it downward from the top of my head stops to my shoulder. Purse, my hair stops at my shoulder. The hair under here at the nape stops almost to my boob because of my layers. So this length at the top of my head is a different length from the length down here. If I measure the hair up here, it'll be a different length than it would be down here. This to say this 12 and a half inches, this will probably be, since it's layered, probably will be 12 and a half inches as well because it's at the top of my head. If I were to move this downward, it would be the same like this here. Let's just measure it for the fun of it. Cause I don't usually measure my knee, I mean my crown. My crown is about 14 and a half inches from the top. If I were to move this section now, it stops at my shoulder at the top of my head. If I were to move 14 inches from the top of my head, I mean the length of this hair down here, it would be two inches longer than the hair here. So it actually is longer than the hair on the bottom. Also too, let's say your hair is blunt. Let's say like when I used to have a blunt haircut, that means the top of my head is the longest part of my hair because it has to be long enough to reach the nape. As in, remember how I showed you this is short and this is long? That means my hair needs to be twice as long on the top to, to match it here to be blunt. So yeah, the top might measure that length, but the bottom does not. The bottom is where your length is because the bottom is where it sits on your body. Do you get what I'm saying? So when people measure from the top of their head, if their hair is layered or their hair is not layered, it's blunt, it's still not gonna be accurate because as you see, I have layers in my hair. My crown is 14 and a half inches where my nape is 12 and a half inches. It is two inches longer at the top of my head. And if I were to move that section, bring it down here, it would hang two inches longer here and vice versa, it would hang to a short shorter if I were to reverse it because my head is round. If it was blunt from the top of my head, my hair would need to be twice as long as in my hair at the top of my head, maybe let's say 20, I don't know, 21 inches if it was blunt and the bottom would be like 12. I'm just making up numbers. I also want to add that if your hair is layered and you're measuring from the top of your head, you're bypassing the actual length of your top layer and acting as if from the top of your head, your hair length is as long as to it is to the bottom if, if your hair is layered, which most people's hair is layered. So it still doesn't make sense. The bottom, but the bottom is where your length is because that's what's sitting on your body. So, if, okay. So if you measure it out the, from the top of your head, right? and you measure 28 inches from the top of your head. And you moved it down to your nape. It's gonna hang so much longer on your, on your, on your nape because it's from the, there's, I've measured my head. My, from the nape of my neck to the top of my head, there's eight inches. So it's what I do when I watch people who do leg checks and they do a leg check from the top of their head, I always minus it by eight inches, always in my mind. So I, I can, understand how long the hair really is because let's say their hair is they say they measure it from top here and they say oh it's 24 inches i minus eight inches i'm like okay so their hair really is 16 inches aka waist length because that's where 16 inches sits on me because there's eight inches from here to here to your name and i say that your length is here because if you were to get a weave if you were to get a 16 inch weave 16 inches weave, just only 16 inches of weave. That means from here to up to the front, you're only wearing 16 inches of weave. The longest part is gonna be down here because it's the lowest part of your head. That's where the longest part, so the longest part will hang waist length because that's where 16 inches sits on me. And then 16 inches at the top of the head would be short because it would be a layer because of the way it's going up your head. So it will sit shorter on your body because it's at the top of your head. 
Does that make sense to you guys? That's why I don't measure my whole head. That's why I don't measure. I mean, sometimes I do just for fun, just to see like, oh, how much longer you're gonna get from last time, da, da, da. I really don't do that because I care more about where my hair sits on my body, what it looks like on my body. We measure according to what's our body. So we say neck length, armpit length, waist length, hip length. That is according to your body. The hair down here is deciphering where on your body it's gonna lay. The hair up here is not, it's a layer. And even if your hair is, like I said, blunt, like the bottom, it would theoretically be way longer in length because it's at the top of your head. Does that make sense? Whatever, point is, that's why I don't measure the top of my head because it's inconsistent and because it just doesn't make sense. Especially when you talk about inches because the whole idea of inches comes from weave like the whole like my six inch bundle my 18 inch bundle my 24 inch bundle where it sits on someone's body that's what people think of when they use numbers so when people are like oh my god my hair is 30 inches people think of a 30 inch weave which usually sits under people's butts but really if you're measuring from the top of your head and you're saying your hair is 30 inches your hair really is probably sitting at 22 inches which is eight inches short tailbone length i hope this is making sense this is why I don't measure from the top of my head. I measure from the nape. Not to say we should be comparing our hair to weave, but the whole idea of these measurements comes from weave and like what people think of when they see a, hear a measurement and where it lays on the body. That's why. So yeah, that's the conversation I want to have and I couldn't even have that conversation without while doing my hair because I felt like I needed to like very thoroughly focus on explaining that. Me. So this is how it looks, and yeah, that's it. So 12 and a half inches, so I'm past bra strap length, y'all. Moving on to between bra strap and mid back length, which is 13 inches, I guess next month, because that is, um, my hair goes a half an inch a month, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.